In this video, I'm going to show how to connect the Xbox adaptive controller, quad stick, and any other standard or adaptive controller to a computer and allow someone to use their adaptive gaming setup to control their computer. Therefore, a user is able to use their sip and puff controller, adaptive joysticks or switches for computer access to control their computer. This is great for someone who is really skilled with their adaptive controller setup and also wants to use it for computer access. I will th show three different methods for connecting your different adaptive controllers to a computer to allow someone to use their setup to control their computer using mouse and keyboard functions. To set up my Xbox adaptive controller so I can use my plugged in switches and joysticks as mouse or keyboard controls on my computer, I first need to assign them in my Xbox Accessories app. Open the Xbox Accessories app, then plug in your Xbox adaptive controller. Click Configure, then you'll need to change some of the settings in one of your slots here so that they will be assigned to mouse or keyboard outputs onto your computer. Here I'm going to change the first slot, which is assigned as Test. So I'll click on that one, then click Edit. Then I have a switch plugged into my left stick click and my right click st stick click on my Xbox adaptive controller and I also have a joystick plugged in on the left joystick. I will first assign my left joystick and I'll ch change it so it's a mouse. So now movement of my left joystick will control a mouse on my computer. You can also change the sensitivity settings as well. Here I'm going to change it to a medium sensitivity and click OK. Now my left joystick is assigned to control a mouse on my computer. For the left stick click, I'm going, to con I'm going to change this to control the left click on the computer. I'll click this, then I'll click mouse, and then I'll click left mouse click. Now that switch is assigned to the left mouse click on my computer. If I wanted to be able to program a switch as a click and drag function, allowing the person to click the button once and it'll actually hold down the mouse for them, I can click on enable toggle hold for primary and that'll make it so the switch will toggle on the left click when they click it once and then toggle it off when they click it again. I'll just leave it as a normal left mouse click for now but just be aware that that is an option when programming the Xbox adaptive controller for mouse control. Now for my right click I will use my right stick click switch and I will change it to control my right mouse click click OK and now all of my inputs are assigned and I can click back. In the next part of the video I'm going to show our setup in action and show my different devices controlling my computer using the Xbox adaptive controller. Now that I have my profile programmed I can use my joystick on my Xbox adaptive controller that's plugged in to control mouse movement and then I can use my left click button to click and then I can use my right click button to do a right click. You can also program other keyboard keys and other mouse functions in using the Xbox adaptive controller accessory apps but this is just a simple example of how you can use your Xbox adaptive controller for computer access. joy to key is a program that you can download onto a PC that allows you to plug in any controller into your PC and use it as a mouse or keyboard. You can use the program to assign any mouse or keyboard functions or combination of mouse and keyboard functions to any control on your video game controller. Here I'm just going to show a simple setup for using your left joystick for mouse movement and using some buttons for left and right click. To assign the left joystick, which is stick 1, as mouse movement, I can click on the left movement of, the, of stick 1, then go to mouse, and then assign that to left movement on my mouse when I move the left joystick left on my game controller. Then I click OK, and I can do the same for moving the stick right. I go to mouse, and then click right for right mouse movement. And I can do the same assignments for up and down.
Now to assign my X button as the left click on the mouse, I can double click on it, click mouse, and then I go to left mouse click, click OK. And for the circle button, I can assign that as right mouse click, and then I can click right, and that'll be my right mouse click. As you can see, there's a lot of different options you can program in to really customize the setup for a specific user to use their game controller as a mouse and keyboard input. In the next part of the video, I'm going to show using the controller to control my computer using this simple programming using the joy to key software. In order to use your controller to access the computer using the program controls, you do need to have the joy to key software running in the background. So make sure that it is up and running when you are using your controller. But here I'm able to use the joystick to control mouse movement. As we program the left joystick to control mouse movement on the controller, then I can use the X button to click because that's our left click on the controller that we programmed, and then use the circle button for the right click. Here, I, like I said, I just programmed some simple controls. But you can program a lot of different combinations of mouse and keyboard inputs on your controller using the Joy to Key software. To set up your quad stick as a computer, mouse, and keyboard, you first need to program a profile using one of the Google Sheets. Here I have a simple computer profile set up for my quad stick. Here, as you can see, moving the joystick on the quad stick will control mouse movement, left, right, up, and down. The mouse left button, or left click, will be the center blow on the quad stick. And when I blow for greater than one second, it'll automatically hold down the click. So I can do a click and hold fairly easily. The mouse right button will be the center sip. The mouse middle button will be the right sip. And then for opening and closing the on-screen keyboard, which is the Windows key, the Control button, and the O button, I can create a keyboard shortcut where I can use the Lip button to open and close the on-screen keyboard. For scrolling up and down, I have that on my second page of the Google Sheet, so I'll have to switch to Small Profile 2. And on this one, you can see that moving the joystick up, down, left, and right on the quad stick will scroll up, down, left, and right on the screen. In the next part of the video, I'm going to show how I can use this profile and load it onto my quad stick and control my computer. This is a fairly simple profile and I have fairly few commands programmed in, but I will show you how you can use this simple profile to use the quad stick for computer access. Once your quad stick is programmed, you can now use the joystick to control mouse movement. You can use the lip switch to open and close the on-screen keyboard for typing. You can use the center blow for clicking and the center sip for the right click. If you want to scroll up and down, switch to profile two. And when you move down, it'll scroll down on the page. And when you move up, it'll scroll up on the page. To go back to controlling the mouse movement, switch back to profile one. And now you can control the mouse movement again. This is just a simple mouse profile, but you can also program in other things such as keyboard shortcuts or other mouse or keyboard commands. But this is just a simple overview of how the quad stick can be used as a computer mouse and keyboard.